Hi, I'm uh, Charles Campbell. I'm originally from England. Uh, parents train and produce national hunt horses. Lucky to work with my father, who is one of the top horsemen I've ever had the privilege of working with. Uh, I then graduated from university in doing zoology and biochemistry. I uh, then went to South Africa and was an assistant yearling manager there for a year, uh, which I learned a lot uh, from the guys out there. And then decided to come over to America and when looking at farms I wanted to choose the best farm. So I did my research, Lane's End has been the top farm uh, for consecutive years. So it was an easy decision which one I wanted to apply to and I came here. Uh, worked with the yearlings, worked with the stallions and uh, learnt a lot there. Then uh, got the opportunity to work with the broodmares and shortly after I arrived with the broodmares the manager moved on so became the broodmare manager here uh, four years ago. Uh, as manager you, you check in on all your barns daily, check in on your uh, mares foals, uh, foalings, teasing every morning. Um, General vet work, reproductive vet work, then when the foals come in in the afternoon, lamenesses, sickness, they're not nursing, things like that. And uh, just open communication with the barn foreman, making sure everyone knows everything that's going on so it runs smoothly, um, so you don't miss things. I mean, the biggest thing is definitely the foaling. We were there, we've been there since five o'clock that evening foaling out five other mares. So it was a busy night, we've got foals on the ground waiting for them to get up to nurse and we we're just across the aisle foaling another mare and we look over and just notice something was just off, uh, not normal behaviour for her. So I left the guys that I'm foal with to foal that mare and then went to look at Zenyata. And she was, she had suddenly developed a big bag, got wax, uh, was very relaxed behind and I put my hand on her chest and she was she was clammy and my heart just started racing. Uh, I got goosebumps. I just called Mike and said, look Mike, uh, she's, she's getting ready to fold. And he sounded a little bit shocked and you could hear him jump up off the couch. And he phoned the Mosses and they're just finishing up with dinner, so it's perfect timing. They came out, Mr. Farish was there. Um, sorry, Bill was there. We had three top vets there on standby, should anything have you know, not been perfect. And then the mayor, was eating hay up until she broke water, lay down, nothing out of the ordinary in the foaling, very, very simple foaling. And um, after the foaling, like we said in other interviews, she had a resting heart rate, which is phenomenal for a maiden mare to be so relaxed and calm with everything going on. There was probably 20 people in attendance and they just lay there. The bond was automatic and Mrs. Moss was in there kissing the foal and the foal loved it. He came out knowing that he was something special and I think that comes from his mother. Uh, and then just seeing them every day in the paddock, you know, the, the, the bond's becoming stronger and he's becoming more independent and he'll go and sort of chat to the other foal in the paddock, but he doesn't want to get too close, so he goes back to mum quite a bit.